about 30 seconds and the data should be out. Um, again, typically we won't expect more than about 20 pips on this trade. Uh, so if you're going to trade this spike, again, I would have my managed take profit set around 15, 10 to 15. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to trade the spike. Wow, that's some substantial deviation. Uh, I've never seen deviations like that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen deviations on the CPI anywhere near those numbers. If it were a buy on the uh, on this, I would I would say that we should probably take a, a long. But with uh, with those kind of numbers, uh, the reality is I'm not comfortable taking a a trade against those numbers. Um, also, we're not seeing a, a very big move on this trade, so uh, you know overall, kind of on the sidelines as far as I'm concerned here. If you if you did get in this. Um, you know, my my suggestion is to look for an exit. Uh, you know, as soon as you can get some profit, just because we're not seeing the kind of movement out of this trade that you, that you would anticipate with those kind of deviation numbers. You took five pips. All right, well, not bad, Jimmy. Is anyone in this and uh, and and in a bad, you know, in a, in a bad spot or whatever? Uh, kind of let me know where where you, where you stand. Yeah, so some of the reason that we're seeing um, the CPI act a little weird is uh, in at 04, out at 01. So, all right, a few pips there. Uh, again, if you are in this thing, um, you know, it's, it's not really moving a whole lot. So sometimes the best thing to do is just to clear your trade, even if you're just a few pips in profit or a few pips in loss or whatever, um, just to get out. Um, the issue with CPI is CPI is a big measure of, of inflation, and you know there's kind of been a change in uh, the interpretation of inflation on a currency, uh, you know whether it's good or bad for a currency, and um, that's why you're seeing some confusion on CPI numbers. I'm I'm still blown away by the deviation we had to begin with. I mean, point eight is just uh, for the CPI, um, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen deviations um, over like 0.3 or 0.4, uh, you know, in several years. So um, I think people are, there's a lot of confused people right now. We're not seeing a lot of market movement. And again, I think it's because of the. Uh, um, you know the inflation issue. You know you've got uh, um, inflation is just a big deal right now. Uh, the whole thing is inflation and deflation have kind of switched roles as far as how they affect uh, the strength of the currency. And um, because you still have people not sure how that works or not sure how to react to that, um, you're getting a lot of confusion in the market. Also, there's a shock factor. We, I mean, normally you've got a huge, you'd have a huge move off of a deviation like this, but I think a lot of people just don't know what to do. Um, 